Hello everyone, this is Moodan Dagavan and in this video we are going to see what is custom fixtures and when do we use the custom fixtures and how to implement in Playwright. Let's try to understand from the scratch. Before going to the custom fixtures, let's understand the scenario. For example, you are in the application and you are in the context page. From this page, you might have the different test cases. For example, asserting all the values from the drop down or you might select the filter condition and check the possible scenarios or you want to see the search functionality or you want to see the sorting functionality. So all these scenarios need you to be in this page. So for that reason, you need to write the custom fixtures so that these custom fixtures can be used in the different test cases. Very simple way to create the custom fixtures would be you can directly mention the test.use and you can mention the fixture name colon and then the method that you want to execute. And this code will have everything that has to be done. For example, here you can see, you can call this my fixture in your next test case so that you can use the further way. But again, this way of creating the fixtures may not be useful in other test cases. And obviously everybody can write in their own way of fixtures. To avoid this confusion and to have the centralized fixtures which can be used for anyone from the project, we are going to create the separate folder called fixtures and we are going to write all our custom fixtures. Let's go to our project. And if you go to our project, under the SRC, we created the one more folder called fixtures. And under the fixtures, I am going to create the login fixture. For simplicity purpose, I am creating only login fixtures, but it does not need to be only the login. It can be any page that you want to land in. As we discussed in our application, for example, we need to go to the all contacts. So for that scenario, you need to use the further steps. Now let's go to the VS Code. And in previous playlist also, we have covered how to create the custom fixtures, but let me replay again. Here you can see types. Basically, what kind of home pages or what kind of page objects we are going to use it, everything will be mentioned here with the variable. Then we are going to use the existing test. So that's the reason I'm just importing the existing test as a base, as an alias name. Same goes to the expect. I'm getting the existing expect from the playwright test and I'm giving the alias name as default expect. Now, the first one, I'm not going to make any changes from this file so that I'm directly exporting the expect value. And second one, I'm going to export the test value. However, here I'm not going to export directly. I'm going to include my own logic. What are those logic? First of all, I'm extending the existing base. That means the existing test object. And I'm mentioning the UI pages, which means that I will be using any one of the object inside that. Now, here I have mentioned only one row, which means that I'm going to use only one variable called to home page or property. And this will be type of home page that we created already the page object. For this, I'm going to mention the same property here, which will be having the function, which will return the value for that. And again, since we extended existing base or test, obviously it will have the page and we are using one more value also use. Now you might remember this use has been seen in the previous example, right? Even in serial mode, we have seen this one. So that means that in test directly, you can use the test.use or you can use it in this way also. Now, what are we going to do? The same way, this entire function or entire code block will be responsible to return the value for this, which will be type of home page object. Now we are creating the login page, the same logic. I don't want to repeat again. So it will create everything at last. It will be returning the home page. Before returning the home page, I need to give the use. So that's the syntax here. And use also has been mentioned inside the fixture list. Now our fixture is ready. How to mention in the fixture test? Very simple. Here I'm getting the home fixture. So now directly I can use the home page dot expect service to be visible. But here you can see the main difference is here I'm importing the test not from the playwright test, but from the fixtures login fixture. So that's the beauty. Whenever you want to import a test, you should import from the custom fixtures. So then only you can use the your own custom fixtures. Now here you can see the beauty is 
i don't want to log in i don't want to do any other activities directly I have the object or fixture home page i can directly go to the home page if i am getting this home page means that means that every code has been executed here now the question might arise when this fixtures will be executed whenever you try to call some fixtures it will execute before the test execution let's execute we are going to execute the same test case fixture test dot spec dot ts and let's see the output Yes, we have seen the output. This is the same scenario. We don't want to see the reports as of now. But we know that now we can directly use the home page, not only this test case, any test case. If you want to create one more spec file, you can create one more spec file and you can import the test there. So this is the beauty. We can share our fixtures across the different place. And as per the standard practice, we have created the separate folder for the custom fixtures. Whenever you want to use the custom fixtures, you will be importing from that folder. Whenever you want the existing test, from the playwright, you can use it from there as well. And this is all about this video and always be a rainbow in others cloud.